For today's video, we're going to be removing a rear diffuser on an Audi B9 S5 Sportback. First thing you're going to want to do is remove two 10 millimeter nuts that are holding the rear diffuser down. So there's two of them. There's uh, it's that black nut right there, and there's another one on the other side. Next, I'd recommend um, lowering your, your exhaust. So it's just held on by this 13 millimeter bolt on each side. So just remove that bolt and it'll lower the, lower the exhaust for you. So start off on each side. So in the corner, there's a little clip right here. So earlier it was in this hole. So what I did was I used a flat head, flat head to separate the diffuser from the bumper. That and it just came right down. And once you start getting the clips off, it removes fairly easy. So again, start at the bottom and then work your way around. And then you can actually just pull the, diffuse, pull the diffuser out uh, fairly easy. It's held on by these little clips right here. So you can go underneath the car and push down on these clips and pull out. Um, so it makes it pretty easy to take off. So from underneath the car, you can see the black clips that I'm pushing down on to pull out. So it's those black clips right there. You don't pull on the silver ones, it's the black ones. So there's another one right there. So you just push it down and then pull it out from the outside. So what's been working for me is using this crash bar as leverage to get the clips out. So what I would do is I would push down on the clip using the crash bar as leverage to get it off. So I got the rear diffuser out. Now I just gotta unplug everything and attach it to the new Maxton design diffuser. All right, so I got the kick sensor. I think this is the kick sensor to open the rear hatch with your foot. Um, it was under the stock diffuser. I was able to transfer it over to the new diffuser. Um, so with the new diffuser, it doesn't come with any clips or anything. So what I used was I used some wall plugs I got off of Amazon, it has a 3M um, tape on there. So I added a few of those uh, to hold on to the sensor. And uh, with this piece right here, I ended up um, putting some duct tape on it. And that was the only way I can figure out how to add that back on. So on there, pretty secure. Um, again, wall plugs holding everything together. Now I just gotta put the diffuser back on. So I put some uh, painter's tape on the rear bumper and the exhaust tips because uh, I don't want to scratch the bumper when I put the diffuser back on. All right, got the new diffuser in. Remember, if you like these videos, remember to like and subscribe. Thank you.